Hi all. I got this Zippo lighter I wanted to show you. Made in the USA. So Zippo lighter made in the USA. I picked it up a while back. I still haven't opened it. So windproof lighter. Zippo Manufacturing Bradford PA Design it Upload your photo to a Zippo lighter for that one-of-a-kind gift Zippo.com uh, I was looking around Amazon. There's all types of uh, Pictures that they put on them now, but uh, some of them are pretty expensive 20 30 bucks easy this one here probably cost like I think it was under 10 bucks so you know usually they're no big deal they're pretty easy to use warning Uh, I, I carried one of these for 20 years when I was a kid, and uh, I just got the regular silver ones. I got the ones with the lines, because then you got something to grip. But uh, I thought the black was cool. So uh, I just wanted to bring up a few points. You know, I did a search online the other day and uh, for Zippo lighter videos. And, uh, you know, when I did the search, I didn't think there'd be anything out there. But there was actually quite a few really good videos, too. I learned a lot myself. But uh, don't do the tricks with them. Because you, you do it one time. And uh, you bend this mechanism out. And then the lid won't stay tight. And uh, then the fluid dries up. So maybe do the tricks with the uh, older lighter that you have. Don't do it with your new ones. Uh, one fella showed that, uh, oh, yeah, this is lift the fill. I, I never bothered with that when I was a kid. I just kind of squirted it right there in that hole. But uh, the one video I watched, but uh, the one video I watched, the fella said to uh, take the flint, take to uh, take the. Uh, That's the flint. That's that's where you get the spark. Uh, to take the wick out, and the uh, one fella said to uh, take the wick out and make sure it's uh, spread throughout the cotton. So let's check that. Uh, in my younger days, I used to just pack cotton in here. I don't know if it's the same thing or not, but it worked. So you can see, you can, you can kind of see the wick there. It's, it's spread around a, a little bit in there, I suppose that would that would be okay. Uh, you can buy spare wicks. It's uh, it's rare that you need a new wick, but uh, every so often that gets too short, and uh, just pull it up with a pair of tweezers, chop it off. You might have to pull it back down. You know, you can adjust that to the height that you like. Yeah. 
Okay, so that that's a really good tip to to make sure that that wick is uh, spread spread around. One tip that I wanted to show you was buy some spare flints, you know, and keep two or three of them up under here. You know, put the spare flints down in here, put two or three of them there, and then put that on top of it. And then if you run out of a flint, you always have a few spares nice and handy okay so in case you don't know that's a flint you can, you can buy packs for a couple bucks that just goes down here that uh, that flint will only last like maybe uh, well you know depending on how much you use it the last couple months maybe so this said lift the fill huh that seems kind of a uh, hard I, I know when I had mine years ago it was real soft so so we'll leave that out to fill it get the big cans of Zippo fluid you know this is 12 ounce uh, you see this can's been around for a while. If you can find plastic bottles, those last longer. Uh, I had this one in my trunk for years. That's why it's all rusty. But uh, some lighter fluid comes in plastic containers, so it won't rust. So, and then, in general, you don't want to overfill it because it leaks out and if you carry it in your pants pocket it burns your leg but how do you know when it's full right so uh, I fill it up till it runs out see how it's starting to run out the bottom there that, that way you know it's full These springs, you know, if, if, it, if the spring won't hold the flint against the uh, wheel, just pull it out just a little bit. So, you know, if you fill it up too much and you try to carry this in your pants pocket, it's going to burn your leg. You have a big red spot on your leg until it dries up a little bit so normally you don't want to overfill it okay okay, okay it's really running out of there now okay see how it runs out of here and it'll burn your leg I, I wasted too much there. Okay, so I usually carry a, a bottle of this in my trunk. Uh, you know, for uh, emergency, you never know, you get stuck in the snow or something like that. You need to start a quick fire. This is a quick and easy way to, this is a quick and easy way to start a fire.
Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll leave that sit overnight, maybe even a day or two before I put it in my pocket. I think once that uh, once that wick burns up a, a little bit, that flame won't be so high. It's starting to get hot. So that's a pretty good wick length there. It's about halfway up the uh, vents here. Halfway, maybe a little bit more. made in the USA. Congratulations on your purchase of this quality Zippo product. For great tips and how-to on the care of your new lighter, visit Zippo.com care. Oh, okay. Zippo.com care. C-A-R-E. Also, did you know that genuine Zippo products are legally protected by patents and registered designs. Visit www.zippo.com patents for details, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So wow, they've got Zippo has their own YouTube channel. Cool. Okay, see ya. Bye. Thank you.